Winners win and losers lose. I want to synthesize this thought so that you can digest it in a very easy way. What do I mean by winners win and losers lose? I get asked this question all the time. I wanna share it with you today. Winners are people that everything that they do, all the habits that they instill are the habits of a winner. A winner isn't a final product. A winner is a lifestyle. A winner is a concurrent set of actions that lead you to a final destination. Same way is for losers. Usually losers inhibit behaviors of losing people, who they hang out with, what they eat, what they listen to, what they consume on a regular basis, how they think about themselves, how they view the world. They view everything through the lens of a loser. That's why they are where they are today. So when people come to me and they're like, Luke, why is my life shit? All I have to do is look at your action. What, how are you operating, dude? Most of you guys are operating at a two out of 10 and you're expecting a 10 out of 10 life. It's impossible. You want uphill results with downhill habits. It's not gonna fucking work, dude. You gotta level up. And that means understanding that if you follow a list of successful ingredients, you're gonna achieve success. Dude, the blueprint's out here. I'm in fucking Singapore, hanging out with billionaires. You don't think they're gonna drop some nuggets of truth and information telling me, hey, this is how the world works. You gotta follow this ingredient list. This is what successful people do. Stay away from this bullshit. This is gonna make you a loser. The ingredient list is out there. You just gotta be paying attention. You don't have to reinvent the fucking wheel. There have been successful people before you. There will be successful people after you. The question is, will you become successful? Will you instill the habits of a winning person? Will you embody the beliefs of a winning individual? Will you cut out the bullshit that makes you a loser? Are you gonna keep consuming and being like, oh, what's wrong with me, what's wrong with me? What's wrong is you're wrong, your life is wrong. Everything you do, when the moment you wake up, you self-sabotage, you're setting yourself up for failure. And then you're asking why you suck at life. You suck at life because everything that you do is sucking and draining you away from your fullest potential. Focus on leveling up, motherfucker. Focus on winning. Every single action, everything that you do, focus on winning. Focus on becoming a champion. And you know what the outcome will be? You will become exactly what you put in. You will become the outcome of your actions. You will become the outcome of your decisions. I, I'm a winner. And I'm, I'm not a winner by what I've achieved. I'm a winner by what I do today. Not what I did yesterday, not by what I do tomorrow, not how you perceive me, but how I perceive myself. Did I cheat myself today or did I win? Did I beat myself at this game of life? That's all that matters. I ain't competing with you, I ain't competing with him, with her. I'm competing with myself. Winners win, losers lose. There are two types of pains in life, the pain of discipline and the pain of regret. Now, pain is unavoidable in your human experience, but one pain, right, the pain of discipline weighs ounces, while the pain of regret weighs pounds. What does this mean? This means that in life, pain is unavoidable. It is undeniable, right? This idea that you can live life without consequences, that you can instill bad habits in your life, and that is inconsequential to the outcome of your future is a fallacy. The matrix wants you to believe that, you know, YOLO, you only live once. The question is, how do you live that one time? Do you live it with regret? Or do you live it by instilling discipline and having the ability to control the source of the pain and then the outcome of what that pain wields? Now, a lot of you guys want to avoid pain because you don't understand that pain is elemental to your human experience. The pressure of life will crush you. Now, the question is, will it wield a diamond? or not. And all of that has to do from the source by which that pain comes from. Now, if you instill discipline, it is painful, right? Not having to hang out with certain people, having to establish a routine, having to establish healthy lifestyles, having to establish healthy eating habits, having to cut out the bullshit in your life, saying, hey, no, I'm not going out tonight because I got things that I need to accomplish in order to live a life that is not full of regret. Now, on the other side, you have the pain of regret. This regret usually comes from a lifestyle that is massively hedonistic, a lifestyle that is massively promiscuous, that has no limitations, no boundaries, and instills zero discipline. Most people live this lifestyle because they think that they're never gonna have to pay the pipe, that they're never gonna have to pay the bill for the decisions of their life, for the actions of their life. Now we understand by Newton's law that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, that for everything that you input into the universe, you will receive an equal proportion and output. So the question is, what are you inputting and what type of pain is gonna come from it? Are you going to regret it? Or are you gonna instill discipline in such a way that you can control the outcome of your life and your decisions? As I'm here in Phuket, Thailand, we, we have a couple villas and mansions here and kind of reminiscing my life over like the past couple of years, I came to realize that by instilling discipline and suffering in that short term period, right? Those two hours, three hours of just gruesome intention every single day have allowed me to live a life that I have no regrets. And it's not regrets because I'm an arrogant person. I'm like, ah, I don't regret anything that I've done, right? It's not that. It's that the life that I have 
is a life that has no regrets because there's nothing to regret because everything that I've done has been intentional. Everything's been done with discipline and dedication and you can do the same. So the question is, how do you want to live your life? Now, if I take you to an old retirement home, if I take you to a hospital, you will witness, it's very palpable. You can, you can feel it in the air. It's very dense. The pain of regret is real. And unless you instill discipline in your life, unless you instill habits, unless you instill circles of influence, friends, and put yourself in a situation where there's discipline that allows you to live a life of fullness over the long period, that gives you the ability to have a lifespan longevity full of health, wealth, love, and happiness, you need to understand that you must be willing to suffer today to become something tomorrow. Instead of having anything you want today and having to pay the bill tomorrow, and I promise you, that bill is very fucking expensive. It comes with interest and it's very fat.